Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Alright, let's get started. Jack, but not Jill. Hmm, I guess Jack would be male. Let's see if that's what they're asking about. Some recyclables. Hmm, it feels like this needs to be cans. Jack, but not Jill. Hmm. Blank shirt. Colorful attire. I think this is an Aloha shirt. Rushed through the door. Hmm. What is this? Interesting. Valuable resource for the Human Genome Project. Wouldn't this be something like DNA? Hmm. Non-Muppet owner of Hooper's store on Sesame Street. Non-Muppet, so is this a human? Hmm. I'm not sure, I haven't watched Sesame Street in a while. Shiba Inu, Japanese dog. Okay. Some recyclables. Hmm. Non-digital. That should really be analog. Okay. Rushed through the door. Huh. I almost feel like we have rebuses here or something. This feels like it should be metals, maybe? And this could be leapt in? Hmm. El Blanc Alto, California Redwood that's more than 1,000 years old. Hmm. It feels like it needs to be in Spanish. Huh, the blank tall? Hmm. Steamed bun in Chinese cuisine. That should be bao. What a freezer can do paradoxically. A freezer. Oh, I guess you can get freezer burn, right? That is a bit of a paradox. Something underlined in many bibliographies. Hmm. Underlined. It's not a URL, is it? That doesn't feel quite right. Total hoot. That should be a riot. That's a lot of fun. Japanese Olympic City. I know there was a Winter Olympics in Nagano. Okay. Common default font. That's definitely going to be Arial. Maybe it is a URL. Hmm. Beg your pardo. It feels like we're missing an N here. This definitely seems like a theme answer. Hmm. What's going on here? U-shaped instruments. I wonder if this is asking about musical instruments. This could be lyres. Is this tar? Smear. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so... Is this a non-apology, or I guess if you parse it differently, it would be a no-n-apology, <laughs> because we're missing an n. That's really funny. How interesting. So I guess we have common phrases that we need to parse differently in order to make sense of our kind of wacky clues. Okay, so it feels like this needs to be ran in. So this is not male. Okay, maybe this is cans. Jack, but not Jill. Hmm. Is this Alan? Valuable resource. Huh. El Palo Alto? I mean, there's a city, Palo Alto, right? I guess that could make sense. Palindromic man's name. I want this to be Otto. Classic Pontiacs. I think this has to be GTOs. Let's see what our next theme answer is. Badly dilapidated, and we're missing a T. So maybe it starts with no T. Dilapidated. Not too shabby? No tea too shabby? 
I guess so, right? No tea too shabby. Badly dilapidated. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Standing upright. Hmm. Measurement that can be short or long. Measurement. Is it a ton? I think you can have a short ton and a long ton. Okay, we're missing two letters here. It looks like it wants to be secretary. No S, no E. Hmm, more than want. That should be need. Okay. Is this another N? Hmm. Literary character who cries, Talk not to me of blasphemy, man. I'd strike the sun if it insulted me. That sounds like it might be Ahab. Let's see here. Cool beans, an equivalent phrase. This is kind of retro, and so is neato. Okay. Bargain indicator. It seems like this might be a sale tag. Pet safety org. I think this has to be the SPCA. Do you mind? Another equivalent phrase. Hmm. I wonder if it's just a hem. Let's see if we can build down here. John of wrestling fame. Yeah, that's John Cena. Hawkeye State College Town. Is the Hawkeye State Iowa? This could be Ames. Like some wolves. There's definitely lone wolves, right? Feature of many on my way texts. Huh. On my way texts. Is it eyes? Why would it be eyes? Ruin a picture of in a way. This seems like it has to be photobomb. So... This does not seem right. Oh, this is a typo. This should be Cena. Okay, so this is ETAs. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Ancient marketplace. That's a Greek agora. Former Russian orbiter. That's got to be the Mir space station. Place for a swing set. That would be in your yard. Not up. I guess you're still in bed. You're a bed. Okay. Hmm. Secretary. What in the world is going on here? Actress Pinkett Smith. That's Jada. Word after blow or bowl. Hmm. Blow. It feels like this across needs to end in job. Is it a nose job? No S-E job. A secretary. Wow, that's tricky. Okay, blank system, GPS. Hmm, is it a nav system? So, blow over, bowl over, there we go. Standing upright, I guess it's on end. Human genome project. Oh, is it a DNA bank? There we go. So this is a card. Oh, they're talking about playing cards. Man, that's tricky. Red Explorer. That was Eric the Red. Okay. Pulitzer winning author Jennifer. That's Jennifer Egan. I've learned her name on crosswords. Seized car for short. That would be a repo. Let's see what you've got, an equivalent phrase. I really want this to be impress me. And that does fit. So we have a gem, citrine for one, that's right. Fruit eaten on the Jewish New Year. Looks like that's an apple, I didn't know that. Whoa, okay, we've got three blanks here. Uh, it's not a payphone. No R, okay, so this is gonna be an R. Hmm, and this is an E. P-E-R blank E phone. What goes here? Psychedelic journey. It really seems like this has to be an LSD trip. So this is a Norse something. So this would be 
Purse phone? Oh, it's Persephone. It's a name. Okay, so is this a Norse goddess? Wow, that one is really tricky. Persephone is a no RSE goddess. Wow, she's not actually a Norse goddess though. I think she's Greek. Okay, two early Icelandic literary works. That's Edda's investment goals. You definitely want to have gains in your investments. Member of a 1970s singing family. I think this has to be one of the Osmonds, right? Osmond? As I see it to a texter, in my opinion, like a certain Dodger. I guess we're talking about the Los Angeles Dodgers? Hmm. Is that right? A certain Dodger? Is this actually a player's name? That seems unlikely. Resign with down. Hmm. This has to be step down. A-R-T. Hmm. To the extent that... Oof. Is it as far as? What is this? Artful? Like a certain dodger. Really bother. Okay, that should be eat at. Functional. It seems like this has to be utile. Is it artful? A dodger. Huh. I don't really get why this is artful. Kicks back. Hmm. Is this about relaxing or is it about giving someone a bribe? Hmm. Meta field. Are they talking about Meta the company? Baseball's Marsh or Bohm? Uh, that's Alec Bohm. He's on the Phillies. So maybe this is tech. Yeah. Gathering casually. That could be a sesh, a session. What's our last theme answer here? Championship belts? Is that what this is? No B E L prize. Nobel Prize, there we go. This is really fun. I kind of like how it ramped up in difficulty. We started with just one missing letter, and then we started to miss more and more as we went down the grid. That's great. Okay, so I guess this is lasers. It is about relaxing. Artful. What in the world are they talking about here? It is a proper noun. Artful Dodger. I wonder if it's not about baseball. Maybe it's something that I haven't heard of. Thin Woodwind. That should be an oboe. Many lifetimes. That could be an eon. Low-ranking USMC officers. Okay, this has to be an abbreviated military rank. I guess it's maybe lieutenants? Elitist sword. Yeah, I guess this could be a snoot. And this is dens, cozy places. Punch ingredient. And this is wordplay, so we're not talking about fruit punch. Hmm. Maybe it's a fist? Yeah, you would get punched with a fist. Group that launched Mir. That was the Soviet Union. Quarter follower. I guess we're talking about a tournament, right? This would be the semifinals. Creep through cracks. That's gotta be seep. So this is a fuss, a to-do. And this should be I see, an equivalent phrase for that clears it up. Excellent, that does clear it up. All right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Thursday puzzle in 17 minutes. This was a very unique theme here. I don't think I've seen something like this before. We've got everyday phrases that we have to parse a little differently in order to make sense of our clues that are missing at least one letter. So, beg your pardon is a no N apology. Badly dilapidated is no T, too shabby. Secretary is no S-E job. Persephone is no R-S-E goddess. 
and championship belt is no BEL prize. These were a lot of fun to solve. Yeah, this was a perfect Thursday theme. We got some nice down answers too. I loved seeing photo bomb. LSD trip is fun. And I like this equivalent phrase, impress me, which this theme did. So yeah, overall, not too shabby. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed filling in those blanks with me on this Thursday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.